Good morning, my Maple Leaf fans. Welcome to the post game show. After the four one beat down that the Leafs got, I will take you live to the uh post game. So I hope you enjoy the post game. And also we go Saturday to put yeah the cook the beer the, the all the drinks all the hockey holiday drinks on ice for a Saturday. If the Leafs can beat the Montreal Canadiens this weekend. We'll click the playoff spot and all the people can party hard. All right. I'm going to take you live to both games. Enjoy. Most people have no clue that in 2023, the best way to make money on Amazon is not with physical products. It's Amazon's other company, Audible. Audible pays me eight to $10,000 every single month in passive income, and I'm not the only one. People like Katrina. Um, I thought we had a good first, and then um, I think period two, we had our, our moments, but uh, we just gave up too much, I think, against a good team. Um, the point goal, he's got he's got time in the front. The other one's a two-on-one, and there's a two-on-one in the third. So I think you're just giving up a little bit too much. And uh, But that being said, um, uh, I thought there were moments where uh, we played pretty good. How did you feel coming back? I felt, good. I felt good. Yeah. Yeah, I felt good. Was the details in the game coming down the stretch that you guys wanted to get out of, out of your game, those great points? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think as, as we get ready to... To play playoff hockey, um, you know you can't afford to make those mistakes when it counts. So, um, you know those are the things that we've got to work through. And you know you go through periods of time uh, where you're playing well, and then you know a couple of mental lapses, you give up some some high quality chances to some good players, and um, you know that's uh, ultimately the difference. You talk a lot about Austin's work ethic at that one timer. It wasn't always the weapon it is now. You know, how would you describe? What the type of weapon he's turned that into? Yeah, I mean he spent a lot of time uh, obviously working on his his game, his shot, um, his craft. So um, I mean, he's always working on different things, whether it's one timers or tips or or uh, you know backhands, different kinds of shots. So um, you know that's part of what makes him a great player is his, his work ethic and um, you know the time he spends working on his game. How would you describe the impact Ryan's made on this team over the course of the season? Reeves? Yeah, uh, he's been great. Um, you know, big personality, uh, big body, plays hard, um, likes to compete. Um, so I think he's had a great impact on, on our group. What's that fight do for, for the bench, for the team? In the third yeah, it's good. Obviously, it's an, it's an important uh, point in the game. Uh, so he steps up and obviously does a great job. Performance tonight? Uh, you know, I, thought we, I thought we carried a lot of the play. Um, but then, you know, you give a good team some great opportunities they're going to cash in and uh, I feel like we sagged a little bit uh, especially in that second and then we were kind of playing catch up um, you know I thought we we dominated the whole first period and um, you know like the last couple games I think and, and a couple last week I think uh, you know we got to learn to you know come out hotter in the in the third period I think that's kind of been lacking a little bit but um, yeah I thought we carried a, a decent chunk of it but you know, the opportunities we gave them are just, uh, you know, they're a good team. They're going to bury on those. Right. What, are you, what, are you, what are you coming out slow in the third period? Is that your, is that your thought of, of dropping the gloves the to get the bench going? Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't really think it was a, you know, a time to fight. But, um, you know, he asked me, and, uh, you know, you look at the situation in the game, I thought, you know, if we're going to go draw some, draw some energy for the boys. And, um, yeah, that was that. Are you surprised, like? Did you guys have any conversations earlier in the game, or no? I mean, I, I thought or? maybe you would ask me after that first shift, but right. um, yeah, he, he does his job. Do you like the way your own game has come around here in the past month, six weeks or so? Yeah, I, I've you know compared to the beginning of the season, it's been night and day. It's um, you know it's how it's how you know what what they've expected out of me uh, the whole season. Uh, you know, I'm 
glad that that's clicking. I'm glad that the line's clicking. You know, uh, you know, I'm playing more physical. Um, you know, we've we've had our chances in the, in the offensive zone. You know, Davey scored one last game. Um, yeah, I think. You know, I'm happy with it. I'm going to keep building on it, and uh, you know, hopefully bring that same energy into the playoffs. Everyone wants to play in the playoffs, of course. As the forwards get healthy here, do you feel like you're in a battle to to stick in the lineup? Or? How do you do it? Uh, I don't know. That's that's not a question for me. But um, you know, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do my job, and uh, you know, I, I can only do what I can do, and um, you know, play physical and, and take care of my own end and, and get chances. But um, that's uh, that's about my big right. What, what got you? What got you back to this to that to this level? Right. Oh man, you know, I think uh, you know that, that month month and a half that I was out. Um, you know, I used that as a mini training camp. I, I worked, I worked hard. Uh, you know, I begged. I worked on uh, everything that I could. Um, you know, I was doing two, three a day sometimes, and um, just trying to get confidence back. You know, confidence is a real thing, and um, you know that's the first time I've probably gone through something like that in my career where I just felt like um, nothing was going right, and uh, I just felt like I had no confidence, and um, you know, I just used that opportunity to try and build it back, and. Um, you know, coming off of the break, it felt like felt like my game started, you know, getting a little bit better, and then uh, just been building that ever since. Eighty is probably not going to happen, but Austin's kind of moving towards seventy. How much is that kind of fueling? I wouldn't count him out yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. How much do you think it's rallying the group? Like to see what he's doing. Yeah, I mean, it's been it's been unbelievable all year. Um, it's, it's fun to watch. You know, you're watching history. You're watching Maple Leaf history. So, um, yeah, we rally behind him and uh, hope he keeps going. And uh, definitely hope he carries into the postseason. What's the most you've seen last season before? For anyone you played with? That would be it. Missed out? Yeah. What, what was it before this? Most goals? Yeah. Who had the most goals of anyone you played with? Uh, I don't know. I'm not a stats guy. <laughs> you're asking the wrong guy. Uh, you know, I thought we did a lot of good things about the first two periods. Obviously, uh, we're a good team on the other side, and you know, it's just kind of the same thing. You make little mistakes, uh, um, you know, let downs on the defensive end, and obviously there are a lot of, a lot of skill, a lot of talent on that team, and they make you pay. So, um, you know, we kind of dug ourselves in a bit of a hole there and couldn't really climb out of it, especially in the third. I thought we were pretty flat. Vasilevsky had maybe had another season that his standards, but showed, you know, why he is who he is tonight, I guess, right? Austin, uh, Stamkos was saying this morning that the year he scored 60 didn't feel difficult to score. Can you relate to that this year and what you're doing? Uh, I don't know. I think um, each night uh, you know, brings its own challenges. And uh, for myself, I just, one game at a time, um, just kind of had the mindset to go in and just compete and, and see what happens. So, um, and obviously, I think when you're, when the puck's going in and you're kind of in a rhythm. It, you know, it's great, but um, it's a long season. There's ups and downs, and um, you, know, you go through times and periods where it doesn't feel like it's you know ever going to go in again. But um, I just try to take it one game at a time, and just bring my best every game and compete. Is everyone putting so much attention on, it, on you on, it, on a nightly basis, stopping you, and that's that's the way every team is now approaching how to play this team? Are you ever amazed, like a night like tonight, where the puck was on your stick so many times? Um, I mean, I think it's not necessarily anything like new. I mean, um, you know, I know teams want to play me hard and try not to give me space, and um, you know, I just try to play through pressure. You know, use my teammates. Um, you know, move off, moving off the puck, I think, is a big, big key. And, um, you know, against uh, goaltenders like you know, guy we played tonight, you got to get to the net, and a lot of times it's not the pretty goals, and so. Um, you know, that's what I try to focus on on a, on a nightly basis, and obviously he was uh, he was very good tonight. How would you describe the impact that Reeves has made on the culture of the team this year? Well, I think he's been he's been great. Um, I didn't know him really too much uh, before, just little interactions here and there. But um, I think he's a great teammate, and he's brought a lot of energy, a lot of uh, you know positivity to the group. And you know, I think over the last month or so, he's been playing. Uh, some of his best hockey since he's been here, and you see the impact he makes, obviously, on the ice, um, the way he plays, uh, his physicality, um, fighting, uh, and then just on the bench, the, the energy that he brings in the locker room and everything like that, it's uh, it's infectious. So, um, you know, it's been a lot of fun to play with him, and I think he can
to see that throughout the throughout the group. Uh, what he brings. It's hard to believe that he might not have confidence. But he just told us he was lacking confidence. What has he shown you, especially the last six weeks as he's worked his way back? Well, he seems. Um, I mean, I think a lot of guys put in a lot of work you know, with the time before practice with skills work, just working on little individual things. And um, you know, he's one of the guys that's always out there working. Uh, on his game and um, trying to get better in, in, in certain areas, especially with the puck. And you can see, uh, I mean, in my opinion, he's had a lot more confidence with the puck and he's made made plays and um, he sticks to his game still. But uh, I mean, he's been flying over the ice. And obviously, when he when he brings that physicality, when he you know makes those hits, and you can hear the crowd get going, it obviously gets a lot of uh, energy into the atmosphere on the bench, and uh, you can feel that um, you know throughout uh, throughout the team. And it's obviously brings a big positive momentum shift for us. Ryan was just saying that uh, he feels like the whole group here is kind of invested in what you're doing, pushing you forward. You framed it as a team accomplishment, 60 goals in Buffalo. What's it mean to you that the guys are, are kind of involved in this with you? Well, it's a team game, right? So, um, you know, it means a lot. These guys, you know, you go to battle with them every day and, and every night. And, um, you know, it's, it's all you know, we're doing this as a group and doing this together. So um, that's really the mindset. Um, you know, we're just trying to win the game. Um, yeah, just uh, a couple goals, a couple odd man rushes. Um, that ends up being the difference. Uh, I thought we looked good. I thought we did a good, um, good amount of opportunities. I thought the game was um, you know, not necessarily favored one way or another. It just comes down to a couple shots. What's it like for you as a relatively newer goalie when you look across and see a, a legend really in the past last year going head to head? What's that feel like? Yeah, I think you know, last year, the first time I played him, I think I was maybe a bit more in that mindset. It was pretty cool. And um, now, you know, I'm just, just focused on what I'm supposed to do and my job. In a few games here recently, the first shot's been going in. Is there anything you're sensing early in the games or is that just kind of a fluke that's happening? Yeah, no, I don't think it's uh, a pattern I need to make anything up. What's the key to a good start for a goalie? We talk, guys talk about getting a, a hit for, for a position player, but obviously it's such a unique position. Yeah, ideally a save. <laughs> um, yeah, but you know, it's I'm trying my best to stop the puck, so it's, it's not like something I'm I can really control in that way. So, you know, I just uh, I do you know the same thing before every game, and I have the same mindset. So, um, you know, that's that's my game plan coming up. Ryan Reeves is a big personality. What's he meant to to this group? Yeah, he's a great guy. Uh, you know, on and off the ice, and to see him do something like that for the team is just pretty awesome. We see the on ice stuff, but how would you describe what he's like in the room before games, after games? What don't we see? Yeah, he definitely keeps it light. Um, just a great guy to, to be around, and um, you know, a guy that's that's been around the league for a while, and uh, a guy I'm, I'm happy to be on the team with. When last time broke into the league, his one timer wasn't uh, considered his big weapon. What? How would you describe what it is now? Yeah, you know, he's he's a special player and can score in any way. So I think it's just one of his. Uh, Many things he's able to do, and um, he was on display tonight. Joseph, the, there's an emphasis right now on rest, uh, not certainly with the playoffs coming, the physical, but the mental part of it. What do you do in the day off tomorrow to give your brain a 24 hour break? Yeah, I think you know it's important to get away from, from hockey just like any other job and try to keep work at work and um, spend some time with friends or take care of your body and, and stuff, but definitely uh, you know, spend the day and resets when you come Friday and be ready to go. Sure. I thought uh, really liked our first period. Like lots about uh, our first period defensively it was outstanding. Didn't didn't give up a shot for the first ten minutes of the game. Uh, so that was really good. Uh, penalty kill was outstanding tonight. You know against the toughest challenge in the league. You know you win a special teams battle tonight against the. You know from look at power play penalty kill perspective. It's you know the. What, right at the top of the league in terms of the challenge on special teams. And we win the special teams battle tonight. When you do that against this team, you should, you're putting yourself in a pretty good spot to win the game, which ultimately I think we were in a pretty good spot to win the game. But um, we, made a, we made a few more mistakes than they did. You know, they, they played a really good, smart, defensive game. Didn't give us a lot. Um, when we did get to their net, the goalie was outstanding. 
but we didn't get there enough. And then, you know, we, we made some mistakes that they capitalize on, right? We leave point open alone at the net. We give Stamkos a two on one. That ultimately really is the difference in the game. Where did you see the breakdown on the fringe point? Camper left the net front. Just got to hang out there. Just wait. Let the D. Let the D recover. He's got to. Just got to hold. A little impatient there. Uh, think, did you have that line Sheldon out for that for that shift? Well, I, I mean, a couple things. I mean, you you got to have uh, got to have some trust in some other guys. It's that time of the year that line to me in the first period was our best line. Um, we want to put them in a, in a position. Uh, they had a couple shifts against that line in the first period that went extremely well for us. And I thought that uh, Matthews and Tavares, because I've been kind of chasing the matchups, I mean, you just you come out of a power play not long before that. There were penalty kill, one of the two. It was a power play and, and uh, needed another line. So, you know, to me, that's, you know, they're, <clears throat> especially right now where we're at, that's my third option in defensive situation. So we need to get through that. But, you know, like I said, we're fine there if Camford just holds it to that front. We would be okay there. We made a mistake. What's allowed uh, Reeves to turn his game around here in the past six weeks or so? Hard to say. I guess he, he'd have, probably have better answers for you on that. Um, but you I'm sorry? What are you seeing in the tournament? Yeah, I, I'm just seeing, I'm seeing, well, tonight, I mean, was by far and away the most physical he's been um, in terms of just being able to get there on time, make the contacts, and have them be. Uh, impactful contacts, you know, that really, I thought, set a tone in the game. And, and then not just that, but we also got pucks back. Then he's getting to the net front, that line shooting pucks. Like, that line was was a real highlight for us in that first period. And Revo was was leading the charge. Uh, so that was that's terrific to see. I thought it wasn't just that. I just thought you thought after the whistles, too, he was a really strong presence in the game. And then, obviously, uh, you know, uh, handles himself extremely well in the fight. So. For, you know, all those things, uh, he certainly did his job tonight. A couple of tough breakdowns didn't help him, but what do you think of Joseph's game? It's, it's a tough game, right? Like, first, he doesn't get a shot for the first 10 minutes of the game, and then, you know, it's a laser from the top with traffic uh, from Hedman. Uh, and then it's a uh, Brayden Boy left alone, and it's Stamkos in alone at 2 on 1. Like, those are some tough, some tough spots, but you probably need to save on one of those three, you know, to keep us going, especially with the quality of goaltending at the other end. That's just the reality of the game, but uh, he made a couple big saves once it was at three to keep it there and, and allow us to to get, to get a chance to, to you know to stay in the game. Uh, so he did his job in that sense, um, you know. But uh, like I said, it's one of those games where you know one or two mistakes our way, one or two saves their way. That's really what the game comes down to. And then you just be playing from behind against a team that you know. Uh, plays smart and the uh, textbook third period from their perspective, and uh, you know it's, it just shows that you know playing from behind is a bad recipe. Their record well, since the one. beginning of March has been awfully good, and Vasilevsky coming back from surgery is looking like yeah. the guy who we've seen before. Um, is this a team you, that people are not going to want to play in the playoffs because of? Yeah, I think. I mean, for lots. I mean. I don't know if anybody's picking. I don't know how you pick them in, in the in either the East or the West. I mean, you look at it like there's there's not a lot of separating uh, teams. There's a lot of teams that are going into the playoffs thinking they can win the Stanley Cup, you know. And and uh, teams like us in Tampa, we're still trying to secure our spot in in the playoffs. But uh, I don't think there's anybody's uh, overly excited to play anyone in terms of picking the matchup and thing, feeling like, oh wow, this is you know this one should be right all right and. We've we've seen numerous examples historically that that uh, first round is, is a challenge and a battle. I don't think it's going to be any different. But that team, you know, the core of their group, uh, obviously the goaltending is a huge part of it. But the um, you know the the pillars they have on defense, the pillars they have on forward, you know, those guys have a ton of experience. Have won a lot. They've got a great culture there that we know very well, having played against them as much as we have. But but uh, yeah, I thought they played a really good road road game here tonight, and and uh, you know ultimately we didn't have enough to get on the right side of it.